Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we continued on through Victory Road. Let's see here. Alright. So, smash this. Yes, I would. And today we're going to continue on. We've got three battles left. <sighs> yes, I would. That ladder I was up by just leads down to an island in the middle of the water thing. So, yeah. Alright, so we come through here. Alright, good. Alright, come across here. And across here. We've got a trainer left. He starts with a cack turn. So, Harlan, you're up. Switch in. Okay. Alright. I've made it this far a couple of times, but the last stretch is so long. Yeah, no kidding. Cool trainer Edgar would like to battle, and he sends out a cack turn. Harlan would like to, uh, let's see, flamethrower. I don't want to make contact with this guy just in case. He's dark and grass, so double kick would have also done a lot of damage, but yeah. Alright, Bruce gets XP. Cool trainer Edgar is about to send in Pelipper. Yes, I will. Elmo, you are up. All right. Okay then, uh, Thunderbolt the bird. Of course you did. I hate these guys. Yes, yes. Well, again. But it failed. Good. Zap. Ugh. <sighs> Sometimes, man. Alright. So we defeated Cool Trainer Edgar, King of Figaro. My dream ends here again. I don't know why, it's not like these are official battles. Okay. So, um, let's see. Harlan and Amethyst. Switch. Um, I don't really have any. Well, yes, I. Or, that's not what I wanted to do. Amethyst is full up on HP and probably okay for PP. We're going to give Harlan an Orenberry. I still have some of those, I believe. Citrus. Yeah, I still have quite a few Orenberries. There we go. And that should be fine. And I'm actually going to just save. It, I'm going to put down a save state, but really it's the same thing. There. Because the battle we've got coming up between these two, we could skip them if I wanted. I'm tempted to. But we need the XP. But this is the hardest battle quite possibly in the game so far. In Ruby and Sapphire, you faced Wally here, not at the beginning. So one of them has a Gardevoir. She's got a Gardevoir and a Slacking. He's got a Slacking and a Dusclops. This is tough, and I will about show you why. Hopefully, I will manage. I have nothing to say to anyone that's come this far. Come on! What is the victory road? I'll tell you if we win. A miserable pile of secrets? No, wait. Okay, so... Caitlin and Quincy. I thought you were a medical examiner, not a Pokemon trainer. Okay, so this is going to be a thing. Um, let's see. She's psychic. None of none of I've none of Harlan's things are that good, so just take on the slacking. Uh, ah, crap! I forgot to check what has. I think Shadow Ball is better than Faint Attack. Okay, that's a pretty fast chicken. Not bad. Super effective. Hit two times. Slacking used Thunderbolt. Okay, Harlan is luckily not flying. I mean, it hurts. Skill swap. And that is why you want to try and take out the Gardevoir as fast as possible if you can. 
because she's got Truant now, and he's got her ability. So yeah. Now the nice thing about having Amethyst in is that she's at least immune to slacking. Well, most of his attacks. Now this one still has Truant. Uh, let's see, Harlan, double kick. That slacking, and what's coming in is a Dusk Clops. So, um, Shadow Ball isn't gonna do any good, but Faint Attack will. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, I was afraid that was gonna happen. All right, well, I have. Okay. Good, good. All right, um, let's see. So Bruce is gaining XP. Cetacea, you're up. Yeah, we got a Dusclops. This could be a problem. Faint attack. Yeah, those earthquakes don't really work. I, th I think Dusclops might have no, they don't have levitate, because they're, they're bayonets. They have pressure. All right, Cetacea is going to water spout. She's got one left. Amethyst is going to faint attack the Dusclops. Luckily, uh, the Dusclops can also use um, skill swap, which will give it the truant ability. Good, good. Now we've just got that. All right. Cetacea gains XP. Bruce gains XP. Bruce grew to level 47. Good. Surf. Amethyst is actually gonna... Um, Amethyst's going to use a revive, actually, on Harlan. Not a max revive. How many do I have? I have four. Good to know. All right. Mostly because I'd like Harlan to get some of the XP. Hopefully Amethyst won't. Shadow Ball. You know Shadow Ball. <sighs> Whatever. Not bad. Um, surf again. Amethyst is going to faint attack it. Float foe slacking is loafing around. All right. So Harlan missed some of the XP he could have gotten, but we did okay. And Bruce gained. Good, good. Cool trainer Quincy. This is a disgrace. Yep. Okay, well done. And we got... And we're done. Let's get the heck out of here. Welcome to the other half of Evergrande City. Entering Pokemon League Center Gate. And this is the Pokemon League Tower, basically. And what do we have? We have... Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon, good grief. Alright, to talk to the if we talk to those guys, that gets us forward. We're gonna go shopping here, but not yet. Alright. So let's see, Lynette's PC, let's PC, storage system open, move Pokemon. The very first thing I'm gonna do is get strife out. And switcher for, I said, Strife out, and switcher for Marinette. Because we're really, really not going to need Marinette anymore. For the most part, we will not need our fighting Pokemon to have, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? We will not need our fighting Pokemon to have TM moves anymore. So we're going to go out, Pokemon. And I am going to take Dive and uh, Rock Smash off of Amethyst and Cetacea. 
at the move deleter, and then I'm going to teach... Hi, it's Trent, trying to chat while climbing. If, if you say so, well, yeah. Okay, then. Good to know. All right, move deleter. This is maybe going to be a... Oh, right, I ran into Gabby and Ty while I was grinding rematches. Remind me to... Yeah, let's see. I need to f figure out where they are, too, because I should totally grind them. I can't remember where they are. Best way to determine how strong a trainer is. Fastest way to battle. Yeah, yeah, and a dominating... Yeah. Honestly speaking, I thought that I might even be pretty good. Yeah. Hotly contested battle. They got a hit in on me again. Ground. I, um... Why did I have the squaw blue out? Right, I... Th I think they actually managed to knock out Mike and Ed. I wouldn't swear to it. Yes, move to later. All right. Yes, I would. So we're going to start with Amethyst. We have no more need for Rock Smash. And once we do, we can, when we will need it again, because we will need it again, we can teach it to someone else, because it's a, yes, because it's an HM move. We're not going to be needing it anytime soon, so I can always catch new ones. And move to leader, forget moves, yes. Forget a move. Cetacea is going to forget to dive because it's not a good fighting move. For, I don't think. Alright. Alright. <laughs> okay then. Alright, now we're going to do some TM usage. Or, well, yeah, TM usage. Okay, Ice Beam. Yeah, I don't actually have anyone with Swift Swim, by the way. I should just mention that. Right, Cetacea's gonna learn Ice Beam. Right. And, let's see, Green Dance, Iron Tail. Thief. Now, remember we had Knock Off? Well, this is basically the same thing. All right. Unfortunately, really hardly anybody I have can use Dragon Claw. Okay, no, no, not Steel Wing. I mean, maybe I could teach it to Harlan, but I don't think so. Steel's really not that good against anybody we're dealing with. Okay, so let's see here. There are actually other things I want to do before taking on the Elite Four. I thought, honestly, I thought we would get through Victory Road yesterday. Have any rematches? Okay, that guy wants to rematch us again. And that's it. Hmm. I'd s I guess we're probably... I think we're leveled enough for the Elite Four. Oh, boy. All right, Strife. Fly. We're going to go to Evergrande City. Yeah, you see, you can actually pick which half of Evergrande City you want to go to now. We Let's just go straight to the Pokemon League. All right. Get Mike and it out. He's a little underleveled, but he always would be because he's just my my Pokemon. All right, which PC should be accessed? Lynette's PC. Move Pokemon. Strife is going back in, and Mike and it is going out. You guys were all great, but uh, yeah. All right, now we're gonna go shopping. Hmm. Let's see. Welcome. How may I serve you? Uh, you know what? Um, uh, bye. You can buy up to 99 of certain things. We can buy full restores. Which, I'd like to buy a bunch of those. In fact, basically they're like a max potion. Can I buy that many? Yeah, okay. The thing with those is that they're basically like, um, we still can't buy max revives. I don't think you can ever buy max revives. Let's see how many of these we can buy. We could buy 99. See, we can't buy elixirs or anything like that. You could never buy elixirs or anything like that. So, uh... uh 
We have 18, but the thing is I can buy 99 and I'll just have two sets. All right, that's not bad. I mean, if I want anything else, I'm going to have to sell a ton of stuff. Let's see, I got 15 minutes left. I don't really want to start the Elite Four today. Um, because, well, that's, that's a, I, I don't know how many, I, that's sort of a thing for its own, um, it's really, it's really, it's sort of a thing for its own video. So what to do? I think I'm going to, uh, we can at least, let's cover the Safari Zone. So I'll need Strife back. Now that I've done all my prep, and there really isn't much else to do, we're gonna go right back out. It's a thing. Uh, I really would like to get Mike and Ed, uh, some levels. Who's, uh, you I need. Yeah. All right. All right, of course, I also want to do... I forgot things I sh want to do. Um... So let's get, let's actually get Mike and it back out while I do this, and then if, or not Mike and it, Amethyst back out while I do this, and then if necessary, we'll go check out the Savari Zone. We'll see how much time we have once I'm done. Pen's PC, because we're going to get some items out. Item storage, um, first let's deposit items. Okay, let's see. Ethers, elixirs, antidotes, revive, nax ethers. Um, I mean, those are all going to be useful. Full heals. Some of this stuff is going to be useful, even if I don't use it. You're, you know what I mean. Ah, let's see. The quick claw I'm going to give to somebody. Max repel. Um, no. Uh, shell bell I'll give. Oh, I really should sell that. Let's see. Peepee -pee up. Keep that. Keep that. Full restore. Revive. Okay, I have a ton <laughs> Hmm, okay, really, there isn't anything in here I do want. Unless, do I have any escape ropes left? No, I don't. Huh. You can buy them somewhere, I believe. Alright, well, let's go sell that pearl so I have the space in my inventory. I wish you could run indoors. Welcome, sell. Just the pearl. Yes. All right, let's, um, all right. Now we're gonna give some stuff to Pokemon. Let's give Mike an id for now. We'll give him the Shell Bell. Actually, he really ought to, um, let's take that off of Bruce and then give it to Mike and Ed. We'll give Harlan the Shell Bell. And let's see, experience share. Very nice. Yeah, we don't have nearly as much HP on some of these people as I'd like. Amethyst is going to get the Quick Claw. She's a little slow sometimes. Alright. Now that we've done all that, I'm going to get all my PP ups and HP ups out. And we're going to use them. And then I'll call it a day. Oh, uh, no! No! Pen's PC. Let's see. Item storage. Withdraw item. Don't need that. That'd be... Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, we could sell some of this stuff, too, by the way. Okay. Take out all of those. Good. Take out all of those. Good. Take out all of those, if I can. Good. Take out that. Oh, I put my escape rope away. That's why. All right. I don't think I'm going to need some of those heals. So let's uh, go into our Pokemon. Well, go into our bag. I, no, first we'll go into our Pokemon. Let's see. Okay. We're going to take a look at our Pokemon's moves. Okay. Right. Uh, your, let's see. Your HP is probably okay. Any of these moves? I think... For PP, you're okay. So let's take a look at this. Meh. Giga Drain definitely needs. I'm gonna get give Giga Drain the PP a PP max. 
Uh, Cetacea, let's just see what you've got while we're at it. I could probably use a couple of PP ups, uh, at least one on Water Spout. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna use one on Ice Beam if I can. You're probably okay. Let's see. Let's see how much I've got first and foremost, and then. Okay, I got seven PP ups and one PP max. There's another one I missed in the magma hideout. Oops. The PP max we're going to use on Giga Drain. Good. All right, now we got seven PP ups. So I know I want to use it on uh, both ice beams. Good. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Well, Faint Attack and Shadow Ball are both really good. Uh, Thief isn't that great. I just wanted it. So she has a nice selection of moves. Um, let's, uh, you know what? Let's back out and look at Ember. Mm, let's see. Uh, we'll boost her faint attack. I think that'll be fine. What have I got? Four. Elmo could maybe use some more um, thunderbolts. Three. I, I might as well just use it all because I'm not going to be doing any more. As far as I know, I'm not going to be getting any more particularly interesting moves. I'm not. There's nothing else. I'll, I'll save those. Save the others. We should be fine. Alright, so I got... Tw this is only 20 minutes, but like I said, the Elite Four are really should be their own video. So, thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, and I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye. I think we saw a Cacnea back in the Route 111 desert, and now we've seen a Cacturn. Well, I think we've seen a couple by now. So let's take a look at that evolutionary line, shall we? Cacnea is a mixture of cactus and sabonea. Cacnea is Japanese name. Sabonea is a combination of saboten, cactus, and debonair. That flower on its head does look pretty fashionable. This is a barrel cactus. You can see the resemblance already, can't you? These things are one of the most dangerous cacti to humans in the American Southwest, and punctures with their spines are considered dirty wounds to be treated with antibiotics immediately. Makes you feel a bit sorry for James, doesn't it? The face and the roundness also evoke the jack-o'-lantern, probably as reference to their evolved form. At level 32, Cacnea becomes Cacturn. This is Cactus plus Nocturnal because it's a cactus that moves at night. The Japanese name is Noctis, which is basically the same thing in reverse. Cacturn is based on a cactus as well, specifically the oh-so-iconic saguaro. You know what 90% of the U.S. thinks of when you say cactus. As this photo shows, these suckers can grow big. Cacturn are also based on scarecrows, which probably ties into their dark typing as scarecrows can be very creepy. The hat in particular is a shape very commonly found on Japanese scarecrows. So why are Cacturn dark types at all? Well, it's actually pretty interesting. Like many desert succulents, cacti have developed an unusual habit. They breathe only at night. Specifically, the stomae, or breathing holes on their leaves, remain closed during the day, which keeps moisture from evaporating in the heat and dry atmosphere. When night falls, the stomae open, allowing the plant to take in carbon dioxide to be used in photosynthesis the next day. Cacturn do something similar, except they're not interested in breathing. They're out for blood. No, seriously. Read their Pokedex entry, but maybe with the light on. 